Hello and welcome to Factorio Single Belt. I'm Acretio. In this episode we will change the belts because I came to the conclusion that this setup, having it that way and having it that way, that doesn't suit my needs. So I want it to go to the left up here. That means I have to go to the right over here. That means I need to move a lot of these uh, of these miners. Uh, the reason I wanted to go to the left is that then we can get everything, go up a bit, and then we can have a uh, smelting up here. At least a row, at least a bit of smelting. I don't know the exact the exact amount of smelting. And then so then I have it go left, go up, smelt, and then we can go down. Wow, what am I doing? So let's prepare the move. Uh, yeah, and one of the preparations actually. Let's see how much belts we have. Uh, iron gear wheels we have. What is it we need for this? Oh, we only need belts and uh, lubricant and iron gear wheels. That should be easy enough. So, of course, when I do something new like this, I don't want to use the old type of belts. I want to use the uh, new blue belts. So let's get a lot of blue belts being created, and then we can do the actual move. Come on. Of course we should have all of the resources in the in the assembly machine, otherwise it won't work. Oh, what will happen over here? Well that doesn't really matter. What we need to do, or what we will do, we might be able to do it some other way, but it is to get this down by two more spaces, get it down to the left, up and go back over here. And then we solve the top of the world. But to do that, we need to move these down two steps. But we can only move them one step. So we need to move these down by one. Move this belt down. Then we can move these uh, mining drills. Then these mining drills. Two steps. And then we can have the get everything in place. But what is this? Power switch. Oh yeah, that's true. We have a power switch for the chemical plant, which we do want. But I have learned how to actually handle uh, handle the power switch and handle different types of, uh, of wires. So we can do that later on, and we can do it in hopefully a better way. So that shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Let's go, let's see, do we have any, we don't have any mining drills. Okay, let's do it like that then, I guess. And then we just put them in place, get rid of that. And yes, I know that I removed, uh, that I removed the green wire. Let's see, can we get that in Place. Yeah, I guess if we do this, we could just put the green wire back in. And then, of course, when we do this, things will things will happen again. Oh, we need a bit of copper. Luckily, we are close to the area where we have uh, resources. And we need steel. Of course we need a bunch of steel. Oh, we need more steel than that. But uh, those power poles will have to do for now. And then we uh, add more later. So yeah, now all we do is to move this belt, this belt down by one. Mm, let's 
see yeah when we connect this it should be correct over here so let's just redirect it wait for everything to move off the top one and there we go then we have the second belt where we just Actually, let's get rid of the mining drills first. These ones as well. Good. Then we don't have to worry about a bit of coal being, being uh, left somewhere. There we go. And oh, we should just wait. And there we go. Everything done. No, not, not everything. Not close to everything. But we have done part of what we set out to do uh, and then we need let's put one oh i can't even see how much ore there are under the under the belt so let's go as far to the right as possible so this area over here we have one or one uh, set of ore so Let's make sure to get that covered, like that. Then we get this. And I guess two more mining drills, like that. That's fine. And then I guess we move these power poles. Do we need to? Yes, we do need to move this one. Yeah, we probably had a problem over here anyway. Let's move that down here. We have one of there. Let's put one over there as well, just to be safe. Oh. Okay, that's the storage tanks. Let's connect both of the storage tanks to that power pole instead. And then let's connect that to this power pole. And we can disconnect this one. Then let's remove that. We should still have all of the uh, all of the ore or all, all of the lubricant being read correctly. Over here we don't want to move it, but over there we can move it. We have two more. So like that. That's nice. Actually, let's remove those again. Not that it's really bad. They were in the right spot and everything. It's just that placing them right now is kind of a problem. Oh, that's where we change between red and uh, blue. Wh why? All of a sudden, I couldn't place belts, and I don't know why. I guess it's about um, it's about my mouse being weird, but I don't know for sure. By the way, if you're hearing something from outside, it seems that my neighbor is doing something. Uh, I can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. Let's get as many belts as possible created now. But this shows that we won't have enough belts to do all of this, even though we... Oh... Okay, we have uh, no. We have stopped the power to all of this area. Let's get it reconnected. There we go. But now we do have should have a bunch. Yeah, we can see over here. We have a bunch of uh, resources passing this, which will of course on the next round create a bit of. Uh, bit of a problem with over full belts but we can't do much about it now yeah it seems we don't have enough belts to do this properly 
So we just have to create enough belts, I guess. This one is that. That. I don't. I mean, this one was probably a chest we had there, but we don't have it anymore. So we should remove that. Yeah, like this. But where do we have the? Uh, where do we have the resource? Oh, oh there we go. Stone brick. Yep. Okay. That's about what we wanted us to do. And then we want a bunch of belts. Since it seems we don't have enough belts, this will actually take a bit longer than I thought. I thought this would be fairly quick to do, but no. Uh, we could also say that we do this and this in blue belts, and then we go up with red belts. That could be an option. Let's leave what we don't want from our inventory. Half of that stack. Uh, we don't need any stone or any wood. Yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, there we go. So this. this we just go up and then we have to turn all of this around but then over here we need to go up again so let's while we're waiting for iron gear wheels to uh, to be delivered let's uh, go for this and this one yeah the problem is that we want this to be controlled by a power switch but we can't have the power switch here because we will have a belt going up here. Oh, we can, uh, I guess, put the red belt in place over here. Let's make sure we... Oh, we don't have enough red belts, so we don't have to worry. Let's create all of the red belts we can. The power switch, how do we do that? I mean, this we just go down. That's easy enough. The power switch, we can either move it here, or I think here is a better idea. So let's see. Do we have, yeah, we do have a bunch of copper cable. Let's grab the power switch and let's, oh, you can't rotate the power switch. And this one is controlled by power switch. Oh, that's not good. Oh well, we can't do much about it. Let's just get get it connected. Uh, we need a power pole about here. We want to remove that and remove this. To make sure that the machines that shouldn't have power from this side don't have it. And then the power switch we connect like that and we set it to state on great everything's finished with that now all that we need is a bunch of belts of different types which i didn't think would be the hard thing with this oh no we don't want that but apparently this will be the hard thing with all of this because all of the belts here we will have to, uh, to save. These belts will basically be moved here, so that's not too bad. But then we will have belts going to the left, which we will of course only rotate the belts we have, then go up, and then we need another set of belts going towards the right. I don't think we have... Oh, we do have belt production. Okay, let's stop all of this. Of 
course we have belt production. How could we do the science otherwise? There we go. Now we can create a bunch of uh, red belts without having to having to go through uh, all of the yellow belts and create those first. Let's get a bunch of iron gear wheels, I guess. Oh, and of course, as it is right now, we are using resources, so we don't, don't get any steel, so we can't continue with the chests while waiting. I think that we should go for a couple of more uh, blue belts. And that will not be... Oh. We will not do uh, a full setup, but like this third, that seems to be fair. That's enough to connect over here and connect everything over here. I just don't know how I will actually be able to connect everything. That will... I mean, I connect over here, and then I have to run to the left side. Run, run, run. Oh, actually, when I have connect... No, I need to run. And then connect these upwards, and then run back, connecting both of the... Oh, connecting both of these belts, and do it all before all of the products go all the way. And then... When I get here, I need to go upwards. This should already be there. And I need to basically do the same. Connect everything to the left over here. And then connect this side up. And then we have the right being done already. Run back, go for that. And connect the belts going down, which those should be easy enough. How are we on red belts? Not good. Okay, seven of those. That's good, I guess. Why do we have four yellow splitters? Let's... Oh, we can't turn them into into red splitters. Now we can. One, two, three, four. There we go. And we can get a bunch more red belts. Is it just... Yeah, it seems like it's only iron that's the problem. So let's see how many we can get. Oh, we can't get the full load that we have with yellow belts not until now there we go of course these red splitters those have to be turned into blue splitters so we will not use the red splitters in any way i don't think that's a good idea at least Come on, come on now, please construct that splitter, then I can put it in place. What are we missing? We are missing advanced circuits, okay. I mean, let's not worry about it at all. I don't need any splitters right now, I have three of them left, so let's not worry until we actually need it. Oh, I don't want to create more blue belts right now. Even though we are creating this with red belts, I think that's a little bit better to get it done than to not be able to do it at all. I'm thinking over here we don't have a lot of resources as it is right now. So we should be able to do a single belt over here. And that way we can grab the other, the other belts, making sure it will be a little bit easier to 
well, not easier, not really, but that we will have the resources. And right now, I'm just going to feed the stuff back right above. And then in a future episode, we need to go however we go to get back and get the smelting set up. But right now, let's just do this. Get the... Uh, and that should go down here. This should go down here. And then we just go to the left. Uh, when everything is done at least. Yeah. I don't remember if I said it in the last episode. But I am thinking about a pretty big change in how this all works. Uh, and that change, it does require us to more or less rebuild all of the factory, but we will not rebuild all of the factory. It's too irritating to rebuild everything. Oh, here we have another split. Oh, great. So then it goes out into two belts again before we are uh, getting any of that stuff. Yeah, it's too irritating to actually rebuild everything. I've done it before, not in this uh, series, but I've done it in another series. It's too irritating, so we don't want to rebuild it, but we need to do something. So the idea is that we will have like the belt, then we produce one thing, Let's say we produce... Do we have any assembly machines? Yes. Let's say we produce iron gear wheels. Uh, then after that we have a storage for the iron gear wheels and we are grabbing everything from the belt into this storage and then we are feeding it back onto the belt but one of these inserters, <coughs> they will be handled by, uh, by how many iron gear wheels are needed for other factories. So let's say that we have uh, further on, we have an assembly machine, oh yeah. Let's put these in place also, getting the iron, outputting the iron gear wheels. Further along, we have a factory. What is using iron gear wheels? Oh, I think the uh, red science pack is using it, yes. So we have that. Actually, that's a bad, a bad example. Uh, what more is using iron gear wheels? Engines are using iron gear wheels. So we have that, feeding in, feeding out. Of course we have the other belt and the longhand insert and everything. Uh, and then we have next storage, which is feeding the engine using the same thing, but the inserter this insert or this insert will read the content of this chest. Uh, of course, through the wire network, but this chest, if it have, let's say we want five engines. So if we have five engines, this will not output. Uh, if it have four engines, it will output. Of course, that's a simplified version because there will be more than the engines using iron gear wheels. So this, these inserters, we need some, uh, some wire network with a lot of setup that reads all of it. But that should be fairly okay to do, I think. And then it should be that we don't use all of the resources for one thing, we should get the, uh, the right amount of resources for everything, hopefully. Okay, 
Now we have a bunch more red belts, so let's go up and see if we can actually place all of them. Or if we need even more. Yeah, it seems that we have enough. Uh, for everything I'm doing after this, I will just... Oh, we have a single line here. We can change this to the other way already. For everything uh, that I'm doing. That is nice. For everything I'm doing, when I stop the belts, I will use the blue belts. There's no reason to make it more complicated than it, than it already is. Okay, so is everything set up correctly over here? This have to go out here. And this have to go out there. I want it to go one step further than these. To not... To be sure that it's not creating any kind of problems. Okay, I think we are ready to do this. So let's get it done. There we go. No, no, no. There we go. And then we need to run. Yeah, there will be problems. Oh no, like that. And then we need... Let's... Oh, why? Oh, we can't first replace those. Okay. Yeah, it's shaking like crazy here as well. Let's connect everything. Oh. I thought we could first replace the splitters as well. But let's just run and connect everything. And then see if we can, yeah, we can rotate them. Oh. Do that, rotate, rotate. And that's more or less it in that location. <coughs> and then we move everything over to the left. Oh no, I forgot about this. Damn it. This I should have done with red belts. I don't have enough blue belts to do all of this as well. Okay. Um, there we go. Oh, and then we need to connect it over here as well. Okay. That was not the most smooth transition that we have done. <laughs> not even close. But it kind of worked. That's the important thing, I think. And then we can get all of these belts removed. And we... Oh. We have actually done what we set out to do. Which was to do this and we have done it within half an hour that's amazing maybe i got this w yeah that's a bit too big actually should have gone up there get rid of those go up there yeah there we go so now the stuff should get done here gets along everywhere and yeah it goes out to the old belt we had it seems like everything is still working of course these things to go back on itself it's not a good idea to have but we don't want to save it this is temporarily temporary while we have this storage area we don't want this area we just want it we just need it to be able to remove all of the ore by the way let's have a look at how much we have 300,000 k coal we have uh, 370,000 copper 
and 130k of, uh, I don't know, and a bit of stone. Well, a lot of stone actually, but I don't think we are mining that right now. Oh, we are mining that 22k of stone. Then of course we have this copper and this copper ore, but that won't be mined right now, I think. Let's have a look. I don't... Yeah, we have placed stuff beside it in such a way that we can... Well, we do have to change the power situation, but we can fairly easily get this started. How is the space in the crude oil? We have plenty of space. Two per second? That's not too bad. I thought we would, would get way less than that. Okay, so I guess we will do some more blue belts and maybe, yeah, it seems like it, maybe a bunch more uh, chests, steel chests. So if you, oh, we need more uh, red belts. If you don't want to look at this interesting thing, and I'm using the word interestly, interesting, in a quite wrong way. So if you don't want to watch this, I fully understand, and uh, there's no reason for you to, to watch it. I wouldn't watch it, so in that case, thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. In case you want to see this interesting thing with creating chests and belts and placing chests and belts, please stay. I will never complain if you stay. Well, I don't think so at least. There we go. All of the stuff. And we have more than 100 belts. Yay! Now I think let's, yeah, we have it, we have the blue belts all over here and over here we don't really need it. I mean, we want it, we will get it, but right now it's more important to get the blue belts into the, uh, into where we are moving a lot of stuff over. I was right, we do have how to uh, replace. Oh, lucky I got back here, because that's not good. That could have been a big problem. There we go, now we have set that up. And we still have a bunch of, a bunch of blue belts. I actually don't like the auto, auto replace. Well, it should auto replace from uh, normal belts to split those. And I guess between normal belts and underground belts, but not anything else. Yeah, there's four blue belts. It's not worth placing them. Let's go and grab a bunch more. Uh, I'm gear wheels and then we can get a few more blue belts being created while we are away placing chests. Come on. Steel chests. Oh. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't have any robots. And of course we don't have enough chests, but we don't need that many. It's like 13 more chests. Don't we have enough, enough uh, resources to create those? We might. There we go. 
Do we have all of the chests now? I almost think so. I mean, we have stuff on the top everywhere, except this and this row, but that's because we haven't started mining uh, uh, uranium yet, and this we haven't set up to grab anything. Why do we have a lot of... Uh, what's the name? A lot of, a lot of sulfur on the belt. Hmm. Oh, because it's feeding out over here. That's kind of okay, I guess. But it's feeding out way too fast, isn't it? Now nah, we are using all of it. So just let it be as it is. Uh, how that's empty. That we could. We could get this to be made into petroleum gas. But what we are using mostly right now is lubricant for the belts. So let's not do that. We want to change this whole thing into blue belts. And then continue. Let's see. Any more belts we can create and place. And then we just end the episode. Oh yeah, that's red belts. Yeah, uh, well, it's not enough. It's not enough belts to really be worth being placed. Oh, let's have a look at the map. It, oh, we can't see a thing on the map. It seems that we have basically done this part of the belt around here. And then I mean with uh, blue belts instead of the red ones and down here. And that's quite a bit, but we have we have like two or three, well, not two or three, we have like five to ten times as much still to do. But we will handle that in a future episode, or most more likely in loads of future episodes. Oh, let's look here. Okay, just one spawner, one spit of spawner. And if they... Whoa, this is not... Oh, that might work. Or maybe not. No, I think it's possible to walk right through. Oops. We need to have a look at the defense. Uh, the updates for 0 0.16 have made a big difference in how that works. But... Why don't we have any lights over here? Do we have any lights? Yeah, we do. Let's place some lights. I was just about to say bye, but we need lights. I just uh, watched a bit of this on YouTube and it's so dark when it's nighttime. It's not possible to see a thing. Of course, you already knew that, all of you. And I've heard it, but I thought that ah, it's a little bit hard to see things, but no, you can't see a thing. Oh well, it's not... It's not night time anymore. Do, can we create more lights, more lamps? Yes, we can. Let's place lamps. Uh, below the power poles in this whole system. That should help out quite a bit with uh, light. Not being so really bad and unlit anymore. Oh! Missing an inserter. Oops. Well, it's in place now. We might see more of that, more mistakes like that. And if we do, we just fix it. It's 
not worth uh, thinking too much about it. Okay, so we have lamps over here. That should light up all of this pretty nicely. I'm looking where we have now where we have uh, some resources and nothing above, like here. If we have missed an insert or, or if there's anything like that, but no, it seems fine most of it. Oh, that's strange. Light over there that will be lit all of the time. These, I think these machines will be will have power all of the time. So let's place lights over there. This pump will always have lights. So one light over there. This one won't have power on this one and this one won't have power. So, oh, we have a light over there. I still want lights there, but they won't light up all the time. So let's ignore it for now. But anyway, that's definitely it. Thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.